Thank you for purchasing an LK Easy or LZ water cooler. This is Russ. Russ will show you how to install your new water cooler. Here's what you need to complete the installation. Gloves, safety glasses, pencil, box cutter, tape measure, level, screw gun, screw bit extender, waste trap, and a multi-bit screwdriver. Advanced preparation includes installing an electrical outlet, water supply line, and waste drain where the water cooler will be located. Please see product specifications for more detailed information. Power cords are not included with all models. Please purchase separately or contact your local distributor for more options. Before you begin, turn off water and electricity to this location and follow local plumbing, electrical, and other applicable codes. Refer to the installation instructions included with the unit for more detailed information. Remove the screw securing the hanger bracket to the back of the cooler. Measure and mark 732 millimeters from the floor to the lower mounting holes. Attach the bracket by screwing into the bottom middle hole. These screws are not supplied. Then check to make sure the bracket is level. Securely anchor the hanger bracket to the wall using all six mounting holes. The hanger bracket must be supported securely. Add additional structural support if the wall does not provide adequate support. Place the cooler onto the hanger bracket. Be certain the brackets are properly engaged in the slots on the back of the cooler. Remove the four screws located at the bottom of the cooler that secure the lower front panel. Remove the lower front panel by pulling straight down. Secure the unit to the wall with two screws and washers, these are not supplied, using the bolt holes at the bottom of the unit. Make sure the screws engage in a structural member. Connect the water line. We recommend a connect stub of 3 8 inch outside diameter unplated copper tube with shutoff. The line should not protrude from the wall more than 3 inches or 76 millimeters. Now it's time to install the trap. Remove the slip nut and gasket from the trap and attach to the cooler waste line. Make sure the end of the waste line fits into the trap. Attach the slip nut and gasket to the trap and tighten securely. If your unit is equipped with a filter, remove the filter from the carton, discard the protective cap and attach the filter to the filter head by firmly inserting and rotating the filter counterclockwise. Make sure the blue label is facing front. Turn the water and electricity back on and plug in the unit. Inspect the unit for leaks and correct if necessary. Activate the push bar to start water flowing to the bubbler. Placing a cup over the bubbler will direct the water stream down into the bowl as the water line is cleared of air. The stream height is factory set at 35 pounds per square inch. If your supply pressure is not 35 psi, you will need to adjust the stream. The adjusting screw is on the left side of the unit under the push bar. Turning to the right will raise the stream Turning to the left will lower the stream. Ideally, water will hit the basin approximately 165 millimeters from the bubbler on the downward slope of the basin. If continuous flow occurs at the end of the compressor cycle, turn the cold control to the left one quarter turn. Replace the panel and secure to the cooler bottom with four screws. You're now ready to enjoy cold water anytime you like. Thank you for purchasing your LK water cooler. For additional questions, please refer to the installation, care, and use manual that came with your water cooler.